everyone! Color is a massive component in flag design, and many flags fail miserably when it comes to color choice. The biggest mistakes when it comes to color is using too many, and also having poor contrast. In this video, we'll be focusing on contrast. We've identified 10 country flags that we think could be improved by changing one color. We're going to show you these 10 flags and also what the flags would look like with one color change. When we say improved, we're talking solely about the look of the flag and we're not taking symbolism into account for this exercise. So let's begin. First up is Albania. It uses red and black, which are both considered dark colors. While many people love this flag, we think the colors don't contrast very well. With this flag, we have a number of options for color changes. We could change either the black or red to a lighter color. After some experimentation, we think this alternative color scheme is the best. We change the red to yellow, and now we have a dark color on a light field. This helps to bring out the double-headed eagle a lot more. Comparing the current flag to our change, we can see how the eagle can be seen more clearly. Next, we have Bangladesh. Like Albania, it uses two colors, but both colors are dark. Once again, we have numerous options regarding color changes. We decided to change the red disc to yellow, and here is the result. Coincidentally, it's the same color change of red to yellow that we did for Albania's flag. And once more, we can see how the main charge, in this case the disc, stands out better. Comparing the flags side by side, we can see this clearly. We think this is a big improvement because the red and green on the current flag simply do not work together. Our next flag is Bhutan. Many people think this is a great flag, and it's certainly highly unique and distinctive, but we think this flag could be improved upon by changing one color. For this flag, the color we're going to change is more straightforward than the previous flags. Ignoring the black outline, we have three main colors of yellow, orange, and white. The white dragon contrasts poorly on the yellow, but contrasts well on the orange. So to obtain good contrast, we have to change the yellow and replace it with a dark color. We decided to change yellow to green, and here it is. Now the white dragon contrasts well with both background colors. By making this change, we've actually created a new contrast problem with the green and orange. However, this is far less of an issue of the dragon contrasting poorly with the yellow. The dragon is obviously the most important element of the flag, therefore making it stand out more clearly was our main objective. Comparing the flags side by side, our redesign makes the dragon stand out a lot more, and instead of only being able to see the underside of the dragon clearly on top of the orange, now the top portion of the dragon can also be clearly distinguished. Next we have the flag of Dominica. The flag is charged with the depiction of a Cicero parrot at the center. Unfortunately, the parrot doesn't stand out due to the color scheme. The culprit for this is the red circle. We're going to change the circle to white, and this is what we get. By changing the red to white, the parrot is more visible with its dark colors of purple and green. Some people may not like how the white stripes of the cross design now blend into the white circle, but we think it was worth doing this to make the parrot stand out more. Let's compare our redesign to the original. Not only is the parrot more visible, so too are the surrounding green stars. Next up is Kazakhstan. This flag has saturated colors of blue and yellow. The blue is a rather light shade and therefore doesn't have great contrast with the yellow. For this one, we're not going to change the color, but instead we're going to change the shade of blue from light to dark. And here is the result. The various yellow elements of the flag are now more clearly visible on the dark blue field. Comparing our shade change to the current flag, we can see a pretty big difference. The sun, eagle, as well as the pattern at the hoist side can now be seen a lot more clearly. Here is the flag of Malawi. This flag has a number of contrast issues because the three colors of this flag are all dark. The three stripes all contrast poorly, but the biggest contrast problem is the red rising sun on black. To improve this, we have a few options. Our decision is to change the stripe from black to yellow, and here is the result. We now have a top stripe of yellow, which contrasts well with the red sun and its rays. Let's compare the flags. We not only have a more clearly seen charge, we now have better contrast with the top and middle stripe, and the only contrast issue we're left with in our redesign are the green and red stripes. So overall, we think this change is a big improvement. Our next flag is Morocco. Like the flag of Bangladesh, it uses red and green, this time with the field being red and the charge colored green. And like Bangladesh and some others we've already looked at, we have a number of options available to us. After trying numerous combinations, we decided to change the red to white. Here is the result. We now have a very easily seen green pentagram on white. Some might argue the white field is too plain and may not like it, but the two colors of this flag contrast very well. 
Comparing it to the current flag, we can see how the pentagram really stands out while on the current flag it gets completely lost in the red. Next we have the flag of Tajikistan. The three horizontal stripes have good contrast. Like the other flags we've seen, this one is charged, and the yellow crown emblem at the center of this flag has poor contrast with the white stripe. So for this flag, we're going to change the color of the emblem. Here is our redesign. We decided to go for maximum contrast by choosing black. The black emblem has great contrast on the white stripe. Comparing it with the original, we can see a huge difference, and this unique emblem can finally be shown off with much greater clarity. Next up, we have the flag of Micronesia. Like Kazakhstan, it uses a light shade of blue which causes a contrast issue with its light colored charges. We could solve this by changing the shade of blue from light to dark like we did with the Kazakh flag. But instead, we decided to go all out and change it to black. And here is the result. We now have a highly distinctive national flag with perfect contrast of black and white, with the stars highly visible. And comparing it to the current design, we can see the white stars really shining now on the pitch black field. Our final flag is Zambia. This flag has major contrast problems due to the fact all of the colors are dark. Like many of the previous flags, our chief concern is with the flag's charge, in this case an orange eagle located in the upper fly. With a number of options available to us, we have chosen to change the orange to yellow, and here it is. So not only did the eagle change, so too did the orange stripe located in the lower fly. This creates good contrast with the black stripe beside it. Comparing the flags, we can see a pretty good improvement, though this improvement is perhaps not as great as most of the other flags we've worked on. Still, the eagle is more clearly visible in our redesign, and this is what is most important in our view. So those are the 10 country flags we think can be improved by changing one color. So what do you guys think of the changes we made? Do you agree that they improve the look of the flags? Or do you think the flags are perfectly fine the way they are now? Are there any other national flags out there that you think could be improved by changing one color? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, because we have tons of flag related content already on the channel with lots more to come in the future. As always, thank you for watching and bye for now.